Welcome to the Story of Liberty. Today is April 16th, the day after tax day. And it was also a day that a French statesman and philosopher named Alexis de Tocqueville died. He came to America in 1831 and he observed how much the perpetuation of the American political system depended upon the training of the youth in the public schools. When he returned to France, he wrote his famous two-volume work, Democracy in America, in which he said many things. In particular, he talked about the great work of society in America to train its children properly. The Tocqueville was particularly astonished by the knowledge the children possessed concerning the Constitution and how the American system of government operated. Many of the children were studying a little book of questions and answers called the Catechism on the Constitution. It was written by Arthur Stansbury and it was published in 1828. The founders had much to say about liberty and how easily it could be lost. In the following quotations they addressed themselves to six questions that all the children studied in public school. Here they are. Question, should Shouldn't we trust our leaders implicitly when we have chosen good men to govern us? Answer, power corrupts even good men. Question, why is it dangerous to grant more power to rulers than is absolutely necessary? Answer, because of the iron glove of tyranny. Question, when is suspicion of our leaders a virtue? Be jealous of those in power for the sake of the unborn was the answer. Question, when are our rights most in danger? Answer, rights most endangered in times of complacency. Question, why can't the rulers be satisfied with the power which is given them? Answer, never forget the universal frailty of human nature, the human propensity to expand power. What can the people do if the rulers are abusing their power? Question number six. Answer, the people have the right to regain control whenever necessary. The Tocqueville said something that was very profound when he came to America, and he's attributed with this observation. He said, I sought for the key to the greatness and genius of America in her harbors, in her fertile fields, in her boundless forests, in her rich mines and vast world commerce, in her public school system and institutions of learning. I sought for it in her democratic Congress and in her matchless constitution. Not until I went into the churches of America and heard her pulpits flame with righteousness did I understand the secret of her genius and power. America is great because America is good. And if America ever ceases to be good, America will cease to be great.